You know who he is a fan of? The New England Patriots. What is your problem, bro? What is up, Bills Mafia? We've got 359 days until the Buffalo Bills win Super Bowl 57. That's right. And I'm going to document every day of my pathetic life right here on this channel until that day happens. Quick thought about football fandom. The types of football fans that are out there. I give this probably way too much thought. And I kind of wonder, what type of fan are you? I'm going to put up a little graphic here. It kind of breaks down what I think are the top six types of NFL fans that exist. And where do you fit in? Let's start from the top here. The top football fan is the type of football fan that I think is very unhealthy. The type of people that probably need to get some psychological help. If they were asked, hey, would you give up your children for a Super Bowl championship? I don't think they would hesitate. I think they'd be like, yeah, take my kids right now. So that's the top tier NFL fan. Those who are whacked out. Let's go back to the graph. Number two, you have the type of fans that they're pretty close to that. No doubt about it. They are the ones that you see smashing tables, smashing heads, smashing people, picking their girlfriends up and slamming them down, killing them. Yeah, those fans are awesome. Love them. They too have some problems, but we love them because they make our fan base special because they risk their lives every game day. Gotta look Bill's <laughs> Oh my God. I would never jump off an RV because inevitably I will get hurt. Yeah, I'm not that type of fan. No, I have enthusiasm, but I uh, value my life. I would like to go to some more Bells games. Why kill yourself to show your support? It makes no sense. Let's go back to the graph. Number three. The number three football fan. This is, I think, where I pretty much fit in. I think most people fit in. One team for life. There's no other football team than the Buffalo Bills. You got that? Who you rooting for during Super Bowl 56? The Buffalo Bills! This is a very healthy tier to be in because, you know, you also realize there are other things in life besides football. Kind of, a little bit. You know, spend some time with the family. Get to church on Sunday, you know? Acknowledge the fact that there's a creator out there that's got his the world in his hands. Sure would love that if he answers all my prayers when it comes to the Bills winning the Super Bowl, which he will this year. He's going to this year. The Bills are going to win the Super Bowl this year. Now, I really pity you if you fall into the final three categories. Category number four is those who say, oh, tickets for a game, let's go. That'd be fun. Those are the kind of fans that I don't mind hanging out with a little bit. I don't mind having or trying to have a conversation about football with, but you can just tell they, they don't really know exactly what they're talking about. They try and I appreciate it. And they're kind of like the, the little brother or the little sister that tags along with you while you're you know hanging out with your you know older friends. Hey man, you like you like football? Cool. But listen, when I start getting crazy, you're, you might want to leave because you're not going to be able to understand my psychosis when things really start getting thick. Tier number five, you kind of lose the fan tag when you get to tier five and tier six. But they call themselves fans. But they certainly are the ones that you ask them, hey, what'd you do for the game? Oh, I was, I was cutting the grass and I had too much housework to get done. I couldn't really catch the game. What? What do you mean you had housework? What do you mean? You're cutting the grass. The Bills need you in front of the TV to cheer them on. That energy gets sucked right into your TV, transmitted through the power lines. Head down to Orchard Park, and that energy is pumped into that stadium. You can't be out cutting the lawn. What's wrong with you? They're, those, are, those are the bandwagon fans. I really don't like them. You know, they, they might watch 
one or two games during the year. And that's only because their grass didn't need to be cut. Don't come talking Buffalo Bills football if you miss the game. Okay, tier number six, the worst type of fan that exists. If you are one of these fans, turn this, turn my channel off, never come back here again. Here's the chart, number six. You know some of these, they are pathetic people, okay? These are very unhealthy people because they try to identify with something that makes them feel better about their own life. There's more going on underneath the surface with these types of fans. And I got one in personal story. There's a guy I know, family member, born and raised here in Buffalo, New York. Bills fans all around him. His parents are Bills fans. His siblings are Bills fans. Aunts, uncles, cousins. You know who he is a fan of? The New England Patriots. What is your problem, bro? I don't even know if he's ever been to Boston. Well, lo and behold, Tom Brady leaves the Patriots to go play for the Buccaneers. Who is he a fan of now, people? <laughs> That's the six tiers of fandom. Kind of curious to know where you fall in that category. Again, I'm number three. When it comes to the Buffalo Bills, and people ask me, who's your second favorite team? There is no second favorite team, you moron! See you tomorrow.